Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to allow or block site cookies in Microsoft Edge. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up Microsoft Edge if it's not already open. And then you want to go select the Settings and More button up at the top right corner of the browser screen. So go ahead and left click on that to open it up. You could also tap Alt 4 on your keyboard too, just to open up the screen too. And anyway, now that we're here, you're going to select the Settings button near the bottom. So go ahead and left click on that. On the left side, you want to select Site Permissions. It alternatively may say Cookies and Site Permissions as well, depending on what version of the browser you're running, I should note. And now on the right side, you want to select Cookies and Site Data. So once we're here, it says allow sites to save and read cookie data. So if you want to keep it turned on, you can. Or if you just want to turn off all cookie data tracking, you can turn that off here as well. Please note that might mess up some of the functionality in terms of what websites display to you. A lot saving login credentials, targeted advertisements, that sort of thing. I know we all hate all that, but um, just want to point that out there. So you might not want to turn that off entirely. So if that is the case you have the option to go on a more granular level down a bit on this page where you can block or allow specific website cookies here so if you want to block certain websites from saving cookies on your computer you can add the add button right next to the corresponding block section and paste in the URL and then you could add it here and if you wanted to make certain website exemptions to allow cookies you could do that as well and you can also and websites if you want to just clear cookies after each session so meaning when you close out of the browser it will clear the cookies that were saved so it gives you guys a few different options there to work with so pretty straightforward process guys I do hope that i was able to help you out and i do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial goodbye